a YouTuber could be facing prison time over a prank video gone wrong. The prankster is known as Reset on YouTube. Please do not attempt what we are about to show you. Reset, who lives in Spain, posted this in 2017. You can see him giving a homeless man an Oreo cookie filled with toothpaste instead of cream. It immediately makes the man sick. The video prompted outrage online when Reset was 19. He did post a video admitting he may have gone too far, but said there is a positive side, quote, this will help clean his teeth. I don't think he has cleaned them since he became poor. That makes me uncomfortable even reading. Uh, he has been found guilty of violating the moral integrity of the homeless man and could be sentenced up to 15 months in prison, a $22,000 fine, and must shut down his social media channels for five years. A judge says this wasn't an isolated incident and resets other, and resets other videos shows his cruel behavior toward easy or vulnerable victims. Reset says the video was just a bad joke, adding, quote, I do things to mount a show people like what is morbid. Erica, this is what ticks me off the most is there's no accountability. Mm -hmm. It's some some YouTubers, not all of them, some of them are so caught up in what they're offering their subscribers that they really don't take any sort of ownership what they're putting out there. And that, that makes my blood boil considering that I have a daughter one day who will be watching YouTube videos. Um, I think the key is violating the integrity of a homeless person. Um, these are people who happen to be down on their luck and this is the situation that they're in. A lot of people feel like they're never, like that couldn't happen to them, but I have news that those yeah. things happen to people, right. um, especially in a paycheck to paycheck society. I've worked or talked to a lot of people in like the mission um, when I used to work over there. And um, it, the number one thing was always, if people would look at me like I'm a person, like I'm not trying to do anything to you, just look at me like I'm a person and they would remember the people who acknowledge them and their personhood. So I think this is really important and I'm glad that this person is What going do you think to... about the sentencing really quickly? The 15 years in prison, the five years of his social media being banned? Well, clearly that. where he is, there um, is more respect months, for human sorry. life yeah. Yeah, than there is here. So there you go. Yeah. yeah, I like the shutting down of the social media, and I think that needs to take precedent just because I think our social media is out of control. I've said it a lot of times it needs to be licensed in yep. some sort of way. So if you take away this man's form of his, his entertainment, yep. it's going to shut him down completely. So hopefully he learns a lesson from this because he didn't have any empathy for this man None. whatsoever. So someone needs to teach this young man a lesson. It's called platform yeah. yeah, that's, Good. that's exactly what we need to do. And I, I don't think it can be overlooked that, yes, this was a, a homeless man and he did suffer from mental illness. And it's one incident like this the public humili hum humiliation that could cause somebody to break permanently. I think this was bigger than if it happened to the four of us who would be upset and might pursue legal action, but this is something that can permanently derail yep. somebody mm. and it should be looked at like that. Amen.